what's up you guys welcome back to the channel oh i've missed you guys i've missed vlogging it's been a hot min it's actually only been a week but it feels like it's been like two months <laughs> If you guys follow me on Instagram, you already know why I've been a little bit MIA. It's because my bae and I have actually made a move closer back to family. We relocated, we uprooted our freaking lives this week. And right now, like, I feel like I'm in a tornado. There's so much going on right now. We are still moving in. We literally don't have Wi-Fi. So this is why I haven't been able to do freaking anything. So I had to squeeze in this vlog. Cause you know, new place, new apartment, all right? I gotta show you how I store my activewear. We are back in New Jersey. We were just in Pennsylvania. Jersey's where we were born and raised. So this is home for us and I'm very happy already. We've only been in this apartment for two days and I'm already happy. <laughs> These apartments are great because they were just built. So I like it because I, I get skeeved out when I live in places that other people have like bathed in. I wouldn't even go in my bathtub in the old apartment because I knew someone else bathed in there. So I was like looking around thinking like weird thoughts. So I know, that's just one of my things, I, I don't know. So this is a new build, so we're the first people to live in here. Very amped about that. We don't got no bad juju. This is our juju now. I'm gonna be real with you guys. Um, I never talked about this on my channel before because I always wanted to be super positive, but uh, the apartment we just moved out of literally made me so mad every single day. Uh, there just wasn't enough storage space, and we don't we don't own like a lot of things, but we own things like appliances, things like that, because we cook every day. Our kitchen was so crammed, tiny, dark. It looked like a little dungeon, and it didn't really put me in the best mood. Um, we also happen to live above like really loud babies. So uh, you guys didn't see this because I would cut it out, but uh, there'd be a lot of screaming and crying going downstairs when I'm trying to film. So this is a lot more quieter. I'm thankful for that. We actually have a balcony as you can see, which is nice. Our other place didn't have like anything. So uh, literally I would look outside not knowing what temperature it was, you know? So it's little things like that, all right? I just want to be super minimal, minus my activewear. Okay, that's my collection that stays uh but speaking of that my old closet was overflowing with so much activewear so we did do a huge declutter we donated a ton like i just kept pretty much the essentials that i wear regularly donated uh gave some to family so uh this is a new place we started a new chapter in our lives we're very excited so i didn't want to really bring all that clutter with me because with clutter it comes like a cluttered mindset and I'm just trying to be very like light, you know? So starting fresh, I'm really loving the extra space it made and um, it feels good, man. It feels like a weight off my shoulders so I can make room for more Gymshark. <laughs> okay guys, so this is like our little patio area. I wanted to go for that very like almost beachy bohemian look. We definitely wanted the second floor because we wanted the balcony, absolutely. We need that outdoor space. Okay, so as you step in, we have a nice little coat closet here. Don't mind the mess. Like I said, we're still moving everything in. We actually still have to go to our old complex and grab like our dumbbells, things we couldn't fit. So look at, we got our Wi-Fi router. They're coming today to set up the internet. We got some of our gym equipment. Half our fireplace came in. We got a electric fireplace, kettlebells. You know what I mean? So we, we got this open concept. Things are in random places. We still don't have a trash can. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm absolutely obsessed with the kitchen. I wanted something light and bright because I do plan on doing a bunch of meal videos and nutrition videos for you guys. I've been getting a lot of requests, so don't you worry. Girlfriend, I hear you. Check this out though. These are actually just side tables. We don't have our benches in yet. Everything we ordered still has yet to come in. So we're sitting on like side tables right now. Actually, it works pretty well, but I can feel them cracking. They're about to break through. I can feel it. Yeah, so this is our kitchen, absolutely obsessed. Already got like the herbs going. <laughs> Yay, that's a fake plant. This is um, our, what I call our clutter wall right now. This is still our living room. It's all one big like open room. And uh, this is all going to my parents. I bargained with them. I said, can we please keep all our seasonal stuff? Like that black bag is our Christmas tree. You would never know it. It's going. Right, mom, dad, if you're looking at this video right now, this stuff is going to you. I don't have time or energy for any of that. No. Uh, over here is like our actual front door. Why'd you lock it? <laughs> you locked it. Uh, so this is our front door. We actually do have like a nice 
set of stairs right here because uh, we're on the second floor. We got two doors. We got one down there and then we have the second one up here. Coffee's done. Okay, so like I said, this is the entrance way and the hallway over here, we finally have like a pantry big enough. Our pantry was half the size in our old apartment. So yeah, we got, we got the hookup right here. I'm, I'm in the process of organizing all of this, you know, gotta keep it nice and orderly. And then opposite of that, we have a washer and dryer with, hey, what are those towels doing in there? Bay. They're dirty. No, that's for active wear. What are you doing? I'm so mad right now. This is uh, for regular clothes, and this was supposed to be for my active wear, but he started putting nasty towels in it. That's, yeah, that's upsetting. So walking on in, we do have the guest bathroom here. Okay, whoa, what up, what up? The tile's interesting, it's black, and it gets real dirty real fast. Like look at that, like you can see all the smudgies. I didn't realize that, but dang, does it get dirty. Over here is gonna be our office. It's a two bedroom, two bath apartment. This is our office so far. I mean, we still got like, look at this, like so much stuff going on here. But yeah, office space, our think tank. We just got a new rug here. I'm so excited, uh, Target hooking me up. And then our master bed right here. I wanna get all new like furniture that actually matches would be nice. <laughs> so we're looking at like a nice wood furniture for now. Uh, but this is gonna do, this is it for here. We brought like all the furniture and everything from our old place and putting it in here, we just didn't realize how much it doesn't really flow. It's crazy, a new space changes everything. And then this is the master bath. This one I'm so excited about you guys cause like a freaking standing shower, what's that about? Like I never had that before. So yeah, we got the toilet, we got our fit track up in here. Yeah, the it's just beautiful. Like it's aesthetically beautiful. I love the large mirror. Our old apartment only had like a little tiny square medicine cabinet and uh, you know, I couldn't see nothing. So yeah, absolutely love it. Love the gray tones, very pretty. I never did like intense daily vlogs in the old apartment because I just didn't like the aesthetic. You know, it was our first apartment ever and it was just didn't match my vibe at all. So this is a lot better. I absolutely love this complex. It's beautiful. The moment you have all been waiting for, the active wear closet, baby. That's right, I said active wear, it's pretty much 95% just active wear. <laughs> okay, so real quick, I just wanna say, this freaking walk-in closet, I feel like it was literally me for me. Uh, you got like a ample amount of storage. Like you got the rails up here, the shelving space, but here's the thing. My vibe with this is open space. Like I don't want to be crowded by my clothes. And I told you, I did a massive decluttering. So I'm really happy how this turned out. I don't want clothes to, to, to take me over. I want to take over the clothes, if that makes sense, right? So kept this all pretty much open here. If this door slightly cracked open, I want to see nothing but white clean space. Now, we have the standing mirror, obviously. You gotta see what you look like with your Gymshark on. Right now I'm wearing that long sleeve vital. Woo, getting ready for fall, baby, baby. So, gotta have that. Over here we got a pop of green cacti. Tis, cactus. Yeah. Thought it would add some color up in here. We got my Dollar Tree at sign, okay? I actually gave it an Instagram, go check it out. Then we got um, a freaking coaster. <laughs> I thought it would look cool for my morning coffee come in here. We'll see. All right, so guys, I got three of these bins in here. If you're tight on space, I highly suggest these Amazon. I'll have them linked or I'll try to have the same ones linked. These Amazon like low key dresser drawers that are like, Cool, they're mad chill, like just easy, pop it in. This has all like, just like my sleepwear and stuff like that, but it's nice. It's nice, minimal, it fits right in your closet. This I brought from my old apartment, so I've had these for a few months now. I do have additional railing storage under here. 
Don't know if I'll use it yet, but as I accumulate more stuff, <laughs> maybe, I don't know. I just wanted it to look really clean and put me in a good mood when I enter this closet. <laughs> so over here in this corner, we do have little baby drawers for headbands. If you follow me on IG, you'd see like, I love my headbands. We got Nikes, we got like random, random headbands, yeah. These are just like jewelry oriented things, accessories. Speaking of accessories, guess what's in here? A lot, a lot of scrunchies, like a lot. On Amazon, I got like a pack of like 50. This baby, I swear I have a shade for every single article of activewear that I own. All right guys, so now we're actually moving on to like where the bulk of everything is, kind of on this side. Yeah, baby. So we're looking at throw over crop jackets, throw over hoodies, just kind of no name brands. We have a lot of long sleeve zip up jackets, again, crops. Then you have like the Gymshark training crops, everything that goes over activewear pretty much. Uh, yep, Gymshark, Able, Puma. Now we got our slouch hung up. This is how I like to hang up the slouch, and I was considering doing this with all the rest of the matching sets from Gymshark, but we'll see. Right now, the slouchy gets hung up together on the hanger. You got the leggings just draped over, and then the hoodie. Just to keep it real simple, you just grab it, it's already contained, you're good. Whoops. Until it falls on the ground. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> I tried. We got the ultra seamless hung up as well, and all of my long sleeve gym sharks. Everything. You got camo, vital, flex, even the adapt ombres I kept together. I think they look really pretty. Just like hung up nice. Since there's only two of those, just kept them right here. And everything, Fleur, you name it, Vital, and then I have my Able long sleeve as well. So I like that. Long sleeve is super hard to fold. So I deal with that. They get hung up. Plus, look at this, like a rainbow baby. Woo! Plus, I don't wear these every day. Only usually when the weather gets a little cooler out, when I need to warm up at a cold gym. So this is just kind of the thing I grab after I already have my set. Nice and easy, everything's out where you can see it. Then underneath, again with the little Amazon drawers, I have two more down here. I have my active hats here, I got Under Armour Inno Sups in case I want to add on an accessory. And yeah, so now we have like active beanies, got my Gymshark. We have Nike, Gymshark, Adidas, Puma socks, all in this drawer. All my fit jeans here because that is still kind of like active <laughs> You know what I'm saying, fit, I don't know. But anyways, these are all my jeans. All active shorts, loose shorts, sheen. Last set, you have like tight, loose mix, just loose shorts with no matching tops going here. This is just my pile of random, I need to fix it, it's ugly right now, but random graphic tops that I just throw over my active sets when I need to like run into a store, I wanna be super casual and comfortable. Just baggy loose stuff over here. And over here in this one, all of my random leggings with no matching tops go here. So Amazon leggings, we got Unoga, Yogalicious, a long fit, Forever 21, you name it. And then, down here are matching sets. So I have Inno Sups, Three Safa, uh, Lakito, all like matching things here. Yeah, another matching. Random, you got Queenie Key, oh, Amazon, just everything matching. Now we have our loose sports bras that are just have no legging matching. You know, this way you can just mix and match, do whatever you gotta do. But yeah, so loose sports bra, we have a lot of Forever 21 in here. Yeah, Yogalicious, you name it, baby. Mm-hmm. Now on to my most prized possessions. Oh! This is pretty much all Abel and Gymshark, okay? These are my babies. This is, this is my, my ride or die. These are everything to me. So let's start at the top. I did add like large duffels up there. We got my massage gun, small Gymshark and Adidas backpacks. Then we move down, we have like very loose joggers, loose hoodies. These are kind of like 
rainy day, you want to just hang out, watch some Netflix and chill, girl. This is what that's for. Loosey goosey crop like sweaters, all like the training sweaters, things like that, that are just, you know, grab it because you want to be comfy. Then moving down here, this is just, this whole section is able. You have the pulse shorts, pulse ombre leggings, the motion, the core, matching sports bras are all here. This is actually built into the closet, but if you just have like the kind of closet where you don't have this built in, you can definitely like buy floating shelves, things like that on Amazon, I'm sure you can find it, and kind of mimic this look. It's a really nice look for your, your most prized, like the things you use regularly. So everything on this wall is pretty much like daily use. <laughs> so yeah, Abel has this whole shelf right here. You can just kind of grab, grab, and easy. Then over here is all Gymshark, these two right here. I'm not the best at folding, so <laughs> it never looks like professional, like the like things you see online, and it's the best I could do. I don't know how to make a rainbow, <laughs> so this is what I got going on here. You pretty much have all vital leggings, you have energy, you have flex, you have even flur down here, fit. This is all of my... <gasps> This is my gold right here. This is my camo and my adapt animal. I love you so much. Ultra stainless. <gasps> Loose training shorts. Some more. Oh, these are actually all shorts. So these are all Gymshark shorts, okay? Lots of flex, ultra, loose fit training, all that good stuff right here. So this is my favorite. Then over here is the sports bras. This is the best I can think of doing right here. Like, I don't know how to make them look. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you have something like this, but you want to keep it a little more hidden, you could get like drawers that pull out here, like the bins, like the Amazon bins you saw, pull it out. This way it's stored away, but yet look, still looks nice. So I'm still toying with the idea of doing that, but right now it's kind of cool, let's grab it. You have all training bras right here. Behind it, you have legacy bras. Then you have all of the flex bras. <laughs> yeah, a lot of flex, oh my God. Then we have the camo bras. See? Do you notice how the camo bras are up front? Yeah, you know, I need these real fast. Then the energy is behind it. And then we got a bunch of the vital. Ooh, I don't know if I should have put this like underneath where the vital is. Maybe I should have done that. But yeah, look at this. As you guys can see, the most that I have, you already know this, is vital because vital there's so many different colors to choose from girl i'm mixing and matching all day i'm wearing it right now vital Woo! running out of breath and then behind it is the ultra seamless bras and random so we actually have like the focus bralette we have the studio you know since i only have like a, just one of this so fleur the dreamy fit all the randoms go back there. And then last but not least under here is where I just keep my sneakers. Believe it or not, I don't have a lot of sneakers. It's just one thing I hate buying. I don't know why. I just, I just don't care enough. <laughs> I'd rather spend it on uh, leggings. So yeah, this uh, baby right here I got from Target and it fits perfectly underneath here. Just a two tier, nice and simple. This I just throw on if I, you know, if I want to like, you know, if it's winter time, you know what I'm saying? You gotta throw that on, you can't just wear sneakers. And then right here I keep a little stepping stool because there's a lot of storage up there that I can't, my short little bum can't reach. So yeah, I'm still toying with hanging up leggings with matching sports bras, like you saw with the slounge together and hanging it up. But I'm not sure if I want to do that because I don't want to totally take up all of this space believe it or not like wide open spaces make my mind feel less cluttered and especially when it comes to a closet space where it can easily feel overwhelming if you have a lot i'm trying to like avoid that i'm trying to actually feel liberated right plus my old closet was so overly just saturated with random things hanging and too many hanging clothes it is seen just hanging up kind of it gives me anxiety and <laughs> I'll end up being so anxious that I'll just leave out like one legging and bra and not enter the closet. And then I'm like, well, why am I, why do I have all this active wear if I'm afraid to go in it? Because I feel like the clothes are eating me alive. I don't want to do that. All right. I'm here to dominate the clothes, not the other way around. All right. You know? 
So yeah, comment down below if you think I should try to hang like the matching sports bra with legging or if you think this like legging wool is working here. Um, but yeah, if you're somebody who's trying to redo your closet space and you got a lot of active wear like me, definitely look at like storage type of things on Amazon. They have been like my savings race. Like this is awesome to not have to see a bunch of clothes everywhere. Keeping it stored away still looks really nice, modern and sleek. And then it gives you just more space to actually hang up the real important things. So there you have it guys. This is my prized possession here and all the matching tops and all my backup leggings, Amazon, all the so yeah guys, that was the full like closet tour, little mini apartment tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And please do keep in mind, like we just moved in two days ago, so this is a work in progress. I'm definitely gonna be making some alterations, but you'll see that down the road in the future videos. Um, but if you guys have any suggestions, like at all, please let's chit chat. I would love it, help your girl out. And I hope I helped you guys out too. You know, gave you some little closet inspo maybe, who knows. Again, thank you guys so much for being patient with me right now. Well, I know my uploading has been a little bit off lately, but please, now that we're getting settled in, please do note we got a lot of good content coming your way. Now that we have the space for it. Now that I can actually spread my wings and fly away up in here. So stay tuned for that. Definitely hit that subscribe button. And uh, definitely comment down below if you'd like have any specific video you'd like to see going to definitely start talking nutrition, diet, exercise, things like that. So stay tuned. And thank you all so, so much for watching. I love you guys. Thank you. I'll catch you in my next video.